Hi everyone, this is Nora Rupert, your District 7 school board member. And today we're here to celebrate Boys and Girls Club Week. And I have with me Kareem and Antonio. So Kareem, why don't you tell us a little bit about the Boys and Girls Club and your experience? This year we have a lot to celebrate. As you know, we're coming out of COVID. Our club attendance is starting to improve. In addition to that, we made it through a very difficult time. Of course, the Boys and Girls Clubs of Broward County has been serving Broward County since 1965. Uh, we are now, as of yesterday, at 13 clubs in <gasps> Broward County with the opening of the JM Family Teen Center That's in fabulous. Deerfield Beach. But the beautiful thing is, is that through COVID, we were able to serve our families in multiple ways. When we were closed, we were able to provide grab and go lunches, school supplies, and we made wellness calls. And then when school converted to virtual, we were one of the largest host sites in the country, in the county, excuse me, hosting about 700 kids who did their remote learning from our clubs. And uh, we just provided access to internet and a place for them to use their computers and log into their classrooms. They, the kids also provided tech support. We realized that they knew more about Zoom than our staff. Did. Absolutely, I have to ask a kid. Now, I remember when we first met and there was a problem with the students from our school board mm -hmm. to your program that their, their, um, their computers weren't able to be seamless. Exactly. And um, can you tell us a little bit about how that helped? Sure, there, so the, first of all, the sh user sharing agreement is part of it but mainly it affected our um, iReady program. Right. So what ended up happening is we would just allow the kids to use their iReady program in our clubs as opposed to having two separate right. identities. That allowed the school to track them better, their teachers could track and assign. And it gave our staff the freedom to just coach them they didn't have to worry about the tracking and the logging in and things like that. So they did the fun part. They coached and provide incentives, but our kids continue to have access to iReady and still do six days a week uh, because we give them access on Saturdays during the school year. Oh, and that's huge. And Antonio, tell me a little bit about what's been happening with you lately. Uh, recently, I became the 2022 Youth of the Year for the Boys and Girls Club. All of right. County. Thank you. Um, it's opened a lot of doors, a lot of opportunity. I've met a lot of great people and successful people. And it's showed me, it's brought me more into what the Boys and Girls Club does. Going there as a member, you see that people donate and you see the different events and all stuff that are hosted for you. But now that I get, I, now I get to meet the people who make that happen, I'm very appreciative, appreciative of it. And I'm grateful that I've been given this honor and I hope to continue to carry it out and make the members proud. Uh, well, I can tell you, I'm very proud. And I also could see how the younger students that were there were really looked up to you. And um, you just embody what the very best is in our young men. Thanks. And especially our, our kids at risk that go through the Boys and Girls Club, uh, you're a success. And um, I'm very proud of you and I will be doing your graduation, don't forget. Okay. And I understand you even graduated a bit early? Yes, I graduated from Deerfield High in January because I got more than enough credits before the year was over. So I was able to leave early and begin to work longer, more hours, which I enjoy, and just have more time to myself to prepare for the journey that's about to begin as I go to FIU to start my college career. Oh, I'm very excited for you, and thank you both for, for coming, and it's always special when I, when I see you, Kareem, and um, I just cannot say enough about this program. Um, you guys are changing lives every day, and you're a fabulous role model. Thanks. So thank you. Uh, this is our, our um, wonderful um, moment where we are celebrating the Boys and Girls Club Week, and um, have a good day.